Hi guys, I've been playing around a bit with Mechanim and NavMesh in Unity and I've had a bit of success and one of the problems I had actually figuring this out is that there's almost nothing on Google so I thought I'd make a quick video to give to hopefully help somebody out figuring out how to do this we're seeing what I've managed to accomplish here which is basically their they're all driven by a nav mesh agent but the actual animation like the actual movement is mechanism so all the foot RK is intact it's still a little bit jerky but it's fairly good it could use a little bit of polishing but still it's a good it's a good start anyway I'll show you guys how I've done it I'm just using the golem that I created in and rigged in a previous video. It's just a standard mesh with an animator component on it and instead of putting a nav mesh agent directly onto it, what I'm actually going to do is spawn this nav mesh cube one for each one of these guys and that's got the nav mesh agent on it and that's what's going to be kind of leading each one of these characters around and I'll just turn on the mesh renderer quickly so you can actually see the boxes here we go and that's just a quick preview of the boxes so each one of these guys will walk towards the box so that the nav mesh agent can do anything that it wants while the mechanism stuff can also do anything that it wants and the way I do that is just with a fairly simple script where I just in the when I start instantiating the object then I also instantiate the nav dummy which was just that cube that I showed you earlier which I then store in a variable nav mesh in a variable agent and then in the update loop I look at the agent and I take the distance between the current object and the agent and I basically change the speed depending on that distance so if the distance is 2 then the speed would be 2 if the distance is 5 the speed would be 5 so the further away it is the faster the character goes and I also multiply it by a number that you can adjust because that just makes it follow, follow the target a little bit tighter you can, you can increase or reduce that depending on how well it looks so that there's a little bit more easing or a little bit less easing if you make it too high then it could be a little bit jerky and I also have this other function that just um, and on the late update it makes the character stand upright the reason that's in the late update is so that animator can do all its work somewhere in between update and late update so it will actually kind of go upwards and downwards because we don't want like if it's if it's upright before animator does it work does its work then he'll basically sink through the ground or start floating into the air at least more than he should be and so that's that's the main script there's also one other script that's just applied to the ground that basically on mouse down it just takes the mouse position does some ray casting and just broadcasts the position to all the objects just sets the destination of their agents so that's what just basically is doing all the all the leading them around and I can just turn this off again and duplicate these a few times
and yeah that gives us quite a few guys and I may as well just quickly show you how to set up the actual nav mesh it's not too hard when you have your mesh whatever mesh you want them to be walk, walk, walking on you just want to make sure it's set to navigation static these other ones don't really matter too much as far as I know um, but yeah just make sure navigation static is ticked and then go window navigation and I can just clear this and you can tweak these settings to figure out how the nav mesh is baked but when you're ready you just click the bake button and all this blue stuff is all the area that the characters are allowed to work, walk on and then from there all the nav mesh stuff should work so yeah that's that's about it um, leave a comment if you have any confusion and I hope I didn't leave anything out thanks for listening